I really think Apple might have made a mistake by releasing the Beats Studio Buds. They're $50 cheaper and similar, if not the same sound quality. Why should anybody buy the AirPods Pro? Well, in today's video, I'll be sharing my honest thoughts on the Beats Studio Buds after using them instead of my AirPods Pro for the last three months. If it's your first time here, my name is Noah and I make videos on the best health and wellness tech you should be paying attention to. So let's dive right on in into the Beats Studio Buds. Now, one of the first things I recognized was a new design. It's a very different approach from the recent Powerbeats Pro that Apple put out and I did a review on a little while back. It comes in three different colors of black, white, and red, and it comes in a smaller case, very similar to the AirPods Pro design but I would say it's maybe a little bit less on the build quality perspective. The headphones themselves are now this new bud type design without the ear hook and it comes with three different sized ear tips including small, medium, and large. The Beat Studio Buds now come with a new USB-C charging port which allows for eight hours of listening time and the case itself will give you around two full charges so you can have up to 24 hours of playback. And it also has the fast fuel charging where you can charge for five minutes and get an hour worth of playback. And lastly, it comes with the IPX4 sweat and water resistance. Now, from a functionality standpoint, the Beat Studio Buds work with both Apple and Android devices. It also has active noise cancellation where you basically get to hold the Beats logo button and you can switch between transparency mode and noise cancellation mode. And you can actually control which headphones activate each one in your Bluetooth settings. Now, it also has a couple of gestures and fun features that you can use on the actual headphones themselves, such as any type of voice assistant like Hey Siri or Google. You can also control your music, so playing or pausing songs or skipping a track. You can answer to end calls. And lastly, you can locate your beats with the Find My app. Now, there are a few key features that are missing from the Beats Studio Buds. This includes not being able to control the volume with the actual headphones themselves, similar to how the Power Beats Pro had their volume up and down on the actual device itself. And there's also no H1 chip, which means no sharing audio. You can't do the ear fit test. There's no auto switching between devices. And what I think is the biggest bummer is actually when you take out your headphones, it doesn't pause the music or whatever you're listening to. So you can see there are definitely a few sacrifices made from the functionality standpoint. Now, what you guys probably really care about is sound quality. Now, I'm not gonna be technical. I'm just gonna share my personal experience and opinion. From a music perspective, it does have a good bass and clear levels. It's not so overly powerful on the bass like old Beats headphones which I do like and I didn't feel like I had to increase the volume of my music or podcast so loud just to hear it. Now from an active noise cancellation perspective the AirPods Pro are a bit stronger in my opinion but I still feel like I can get into my own world when I'm riding on a train and only hear faint noises in the background. And then when in transparency mode it's pretty decent when it comes to me trying to be aware of this different sounds around me or whether I'm in an airport trying to hear about my gait. It works pretty well. And then lastly, from a call quality perspective, I didn't really experience any issues when I was talking to anybody on the phone. I did get the feedback that if I was cooking or doing dishes, it does seem to pick up a little bit of those background noise. Anyway, you let me know what you think in this test. This is a microphone call test for the Beat Studio Buds. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the sound. Now, a big question that I get a lot, is it good for fitness? Well, it's not terrible. After biking through the city, jump roping, weightlifting, playing basketball, they only fell out maybe once or twice, no more so than my original AirPods Pro. The Beat Studio Buds are also sweat and water resistant, which is good. They're definitely not fit for water sports, so I wouldn't be submerging them in any water. And the noise cancellation at the gym can be okay. I would rate it maybe a seven out of 10. It just depends on the noise levels at your gym. Mine gets pretty loud because people carry around speakers all the time but overall I'll definitely approve of these being good headphones for your day-to-day -day fitness needs now the ultimate question are the Beat Studio Buds better than the AirPods Pro or the Power Beats Pro? Well, unless you really like having the hook over your ear or you feel like you'll really miss out on the features that come with the H1 chip, I think the Beat Studio earbuds are the better value. You say $50 and you still get the 85, 90% of the sound and build quality. You also get double the listening time on one charge, less connection issues, which honestly, my AirPods Pro, I experienced that so much where basically my left side would be able to listen to music and all that, and then the right one just would never work. So I really did like the stability of the Beat Studio Buds. But if you want a more secure fit, especially for fitness purposes, you could go with the Power Beats Pro, which also have the H1 chip. You will be sacrificing a bigger case, 
a couple of the software issues and it's a little bit more expensive being at 199 or I think maybe 175 on other sites like Amazon. But I definitely say it's a better buy over their original AirPods, no question, just for the new features and the noise cancellation alone. So yes, I think Apple did a great job with the Beats Studio Buds and I definitely recommend you consider them if you're in the market to replace or get new headphones for working out or even just day-to-day -day living. If you are wondering where the best place to buy these headphones or any of the headphones that I mentioned, make sure to check the links in the description box below. Just as a heads up, those links do give a kickback for a channel with no extra cost to you. Anyway, I hope this video was extremely helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, embrace the hype. Woo!